Ready? It's very takes some skill. Ready? <laughs> oh, here it comes. Um, How much time? Uh, eight point oh two seconds. Eight point oh two seconds. Thought I'd show you how I do my uh, find the height of the ceiling trick, and so watch uh, how I do it in class, and then afterwards I talk a little bit about the hardware you need to do this, but uh, it's something anybody could do if you have a false ceiling in your classroom, uh, which most classrooms do, and you might even be able to figure out a way to do it uh, if not. So uh, give this one a look and then consider adding it to your curriculum. Okay, here's some of the things you need to do the uh, find the height of the ceiling stunt. Got a wad of paper, paper clip, X10 uh, module for turning off the power supply, and then the remote control that will turn it off. And so I just put the paper clip uh, in the paper wad and bundle it up. Now I've removed a ceiling panel. I always leave it removed so the kids just don't even pay attention to it. And then you can see up at the top is an electromagnet. And as we climb up here, you can see I have a power supply. And then that's an X10 module that I wrap bubble wrap around so you can't hear it click when I turn it off. So now the paper wad is hanging from the electromagnet and I have my remote control in my hand. So anytime I want to drop it, I have it in my pocket and I uh, turn it off and it falls on command. So we can see how high the ceiling is. We measured it last time, right? It was about 2.9 meters, but there's a part of the ceiling that's, this is a false ceiling. The real ceiling is up here. And so I want to know how high that really is. And so here's the floor, there's the real ceiling. What I'm going to do is throw a paper wad up so it just almost hits the ceiling. And we're going to measure the time up and down, the total time. And from that I want to figure out the height of the ceiling, technically the height above where I release it from. We can always then just add that onto it. But when you start to do a problem like this, it gets a little trickier than you might think. You might say, well, I'm going to make the origin where I release it from, and I'm going to make up positive. That's pretty much what the book would do. And if you write out the equation for position, uh, we have time, and I want to know position we set that to zero, but do I know the initial velocity? Yeah. I do. I'm just going to throw it, and so it, it requires a certain one to make this happen, but we don't know it. And so it looks like this is a tough one to solve. There is a way to solve it, but another way is to exploit the symmetry of the problem. How fast is it going at the highest point? Zero. Zero. So I'm going to change my problem. And I'm going to say the origin is the ceiling, down is positive, and now what is V0? Zero. 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 And so I can work this problem that way. And so Y would be how far I go, and Y0, I'd make zero, and that's zero. And one half, what would I put in for A if I made down positive? Positive 9.8, right? If you just said 9.8, that's what you meant. And then we'd have the time squared, but here's where I might make a mistake. Would I use this time? What would I use? Half, the time. Half of that. So we're exploiting the symmetry. So this would be just the time down. And so the time down is the time up plus down over 2. So maybe you make that mistake, but I think if you're thinking of doing it that way, you're, you're going to remember to cut it too. So I can't really throw the paper wad and time it. Can you time for me? Yeah, sure. So when the paper wad leaves my hand, start it, and then when I catch it, stop it. And sometimes it bounces off the ceiling, 
and so I'll give you a chance to reset it if that happens. You ready? It's very, it takes some skill. Ready? <laughs> oh, here it comes. Um, How much time? Uh, 8.02 seconds. 8.02 seconds. So let's just say eight seconds. Otherwise, yeah. Eight seconds. So that, hey, that makes it pretty easy. So eight seconds over two. Four seconds. We have one half. 9.8 times 4 squared. So that's pretty easy. So 78.4 meters. Now, do you guys really think it's 78.4 meters? No. No, because I let it go from 2 meters above the ground, right? So it's really 80 meters. <laughs> <laughs> so that's for our bungee jump lab later. <laughs>